Did y'all miss me? I hope so. Today, um, I'm going to talk briefly, not too long, not too much, about the quarterback situation in Pittsburgh. I get this question all the time, probably daily. So I'm going to talk about it in depth. This is before camp now. My opinion on the starting quarterback situation in Pittsburgh before camp starts, okay? So come on, let's talk about it. If you care, if you don't care about the starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers, keep it moving. But everybody else, come on, let go. <laughs> Football, basketball, baseball, any ball, I'm going to be there right on the carpet, right on the sideline, giving you the exclusives because, <laughs> baby, D loves sports. Okay, so listen, I know it is easy. You see, you got your first pick of the 2022 draft. It was Kenny Pickett, and you want him out there on the floor. He's played in Pitt. He's so familiar with, you know, Heinz Field and the city and the PPS fans here already. But bump all of that. Like, let this man sit and learn. Like, do you know that there's still a difference in just the business of football when you transfer from college to the NFL. There's a significant schedule difference, right? You you have the you play on Sundays one. You have you have to travel. I'm not saying they don't travel in college, but the travel schedule's different. It's a different level of preparation for these games, right? Um, your your body, your your body, your your food, everything. Your regiment is different. I'm not saying it's significantly different. I'm just saying it's different, okay? Um, and the media, I know there's college media, people are hyped, but this NFL media is different, okay? So, um, and even though he's not starting, I know he's getting a lot of media attention because people feel like there's a decision that needs to be made, and I'm, I am team Mitchell Trubisky starting. Not that I don't like Kenny Pickett. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, Mitchell Trubisky, you have the experience. You are the vet on this team as far as starting quarterbacks go. You, you, you're the only starting quarterback on this team, okay, <laughs> in the NFL. So, um, I mean, Mason, okay, you know Mason has had some experience, right? But the most experienced vet in starting quarterback position is Mitchell Trubisky. So he's going to be the guy I'm looking forward to to automatically lead this team. If for some reason he cannot show us, he cannot use his legs, he cannot do the things that Ben Roethlisberger couldn't do, then we look elsewhere. But I think Mitchell Trubisky has all the attributes of the quarterback we need to run this offense. Now, we need to talk about that offensive line to see if they really have the pieces to take the, the leap from, you know, being down here to at least being here. Like, they was down here, Okay. We, I need you in the middle of the road right now. You ain't got to be up here or here. I just need you like right here. <laughs> right? So, um, and give him the enough time to be able to use his legs. We know Ben couldn't use his legs like that. He tried a little, little, little bit, right? But you know, Ben Ben has to find creative ways to buy time to, to get the ball out. It was hard. It's difficult. But moving Kendrick Green from center helps a ton. Come on, you guys act like Kendrick was not getting bullied at the center position. He was. So um, I know he's probably learned a lot from that. Uh, we hear they're moving him to guard. We'll see We'll see what that uh, line looks like after camp. I'm not going to make too many predictions on the line yet until I see these guys work. Um, Kevin, I'm looking forward for him to have a good year. He has to have a good year. I'm rooting for him to have a good year. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be – Matt Canada's baby to, to, to mess up, okay? It's, the ball is in his court. He has a lot of control, if not all the control, this year. Um, we know Ben had his, his hands in the pot. He's the vet. It comes with, the, you know, it, comes with it. it. It's his offense. That no huddle offense, man, that thing is a thing of freaking beauty, the way Ben would run it sometimes. And, um, and that's one thing I'm going to miss. I would I'm, I'm excited to see what it's going to look like, but I, like, I've also got to hold myself back from comparing it to when Ben, de when Ben did it, because I know the way he did it was a thing of beauty. Gonna miss that. But Matt Canada, 
I remember being at the Detroit Lions game. I remember saying, why do we stop doing this? Why do we stop running the ball? What is he doing? Why is he, you know, why is this play calling going this way? And we couldn't figure out a way to win the game. That was frustrating. And I want that to stay in the past. I don't want that with this team, okay? So I'm counting on Matt Canada to take Mitchell Trubisky and, and fill in all the little holes, getting those early first downs, keeping the defense off the field because our defense is going to be so dynamic, okay? They are such a big threat in this organization. I mean, in this, uh, in this league, excuse me. This league, I don't want them men on the field no more than they need to, need to be. So first downs are going to be crucial to the to the um, health and wealth of this defense, okay? So let's get these boys off the field. Three and outs, fellas. Three and outs. Three and outs for the defense, okay? Not offense. To close, to close your ears. You, you ain't three and out nothing. <laughs> but defense, three and outs all day. Offense, y'all go down there and score, okay? Get, get. I don't care what you get. I don't care what you get. I want touchdowns. We all want touchdowns. But get down there and score. You have one of the best kickers in the league. Get down there and get some points. That's what I need. Um, scoring in the first first to second quarters of the game, critical. Because all we were doing, we were trying to come back in, in third and fourth quarters or barely holding on to a lead in the third and fourth quarter. That ain't going to cut it. Okay? So we need first quarter, second quarter points. And I think Mitchell Trubisky can do that. Oh, look, it ain't that hard. It ain't it ain't that complicated. It is what it is. So that's my take. Um, just before camp take on what I think the quarterback situation is gonna be like. I know I went in on a little bit of offense a little bit, but that's it. Like it has to be Mitchell Trubisky. I want Kenny Pickett to sit back, learn, and and wait his turn. Mason Rudolph is probably that in between. We'll see what happens. I really got to wait for camp to play out to see what happens with Mason. He's probably the most familiar with, you know, what's going on, this Matt Canada offense, everything in the organization. He's the most familiar, but he's also the least talked about. So um, we'll see. That's going to be a tough situation because, you know, you don't want to get rid of him. And then, you know, what happened before when we got rid of Joshua Dobbs, we, we really needed him, right? Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. It's, it's going to be a very, very clean quarterback room if they decide to do that. But, um, I'm not convinced that they will right now. So I'm, I, I, the writing on the wall for Mason is not there for me yet. So, uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm too risky until further notice. This is before camp. Keep that in mind. I could change my opinion after camp, but for right now I'm going with Mitch. See y'all next time. <laughs>